tenants worried for their safety, living in an apartment building that hasn't been up to code for months. They say their property management isn't fixing the problems, and they can't even reach them. 19 troubleshooter Katie Wilson spending the day trying to help them out. She's live in Elyria, and Katie, a lot of these issues sounding very familiar. Yeah, Chris, this is a story eerily similar to one we covered last week. A property owner, a manager, just not taking care of their tenants, not fixing serious code violations. And as it turns out, it is the same companies involved in this. Now the city of Elyria is getting involved. Please help us take care of our building where we live. This is our home. It's not easy for Johnny Russell to talk about her current living situation. She's been at the high point in the park apartments in Elyria for years, but says it's recently gotten so bad she doesn't even want her grandson to come visit. He's only nine. It's embarrassing when he comes over here and he has to plug his nose to walk down the hall through the smell. Embarrassing, but also dangerous. And this is why failed fire code violations, including a missing door, expired fire extinguishers and missing ceiling tiles. The documented inspections go back to June. Russell says even her own apartment failed a building inspection this month, citing violations like stuck windows and electrical hazards. Some serious safety issues. And according to the Lorraine County Auditor's Office, the owners, the same company with mounting fire code violations at another local apartment complex. This one is called Rocco Aqua Position LLC, the other Rocco Loganberry. We discovered the property manager was also the same Friedman real estate management. So we tried a different number for them that we got from the city of Elyria. Please leave a message after the tone. We were forced to leave a message again. These out of state companies certainly good at staying elusive, but you can bet the 19 troubleshooters won't give up until we get a hold of them and hold them accountable. The Elyria Fire Department now taking their case to the state. They'll present to the Board of Building Appeals Tuesday, October 3rd. Things may escalate then to the city prosecutor's office, which is something we already saw happen in Richmond Heights. Reporting live in Elyria, Katie Wilson, 19 News. All right, Katie, thanks a lot. So if you have a problem you'd like us to address, call our 19 troubleshooter tip line. You see the number on your screen, 216-250-1618.